focus in on the z scores so to calculate the the bell the curve what i'm going to do is say we're going to take it four standard deviations and plot this out so we'll have the x uh or the the low and the high four standard deviations so what does that mean that means on the low h we're going to say that the standard deviation was 1.9 times 4 and that's going to get us up to 7.6 i'm going to add that to or subtract it to to get the lower the 67.99 so we're going to start at the low point at 60.39 on um, and then on the high point i'm going to say it's going to be 1.9 times 4 plus the middle point 67.99 so 70.6 so when I, when I look at the height i'm not going to go down to zero inches up to like a thousand inches that would be you know too much too much because all of the data is going to be between for the most part not all of it but pretty for practical purposes all of it is going to be between these two points and then here let's do the same here the standard deviation is 11.66 times 4 minus the middle point 127.08 that gives us the low point which is negative uh, and you're not going to have uh, negative weights but we might start uh, well no it's not negative it's eight it's not negative it's going to be the 80 is the low point and then the high point we're going to say it's negative the way I calculated it but it's not negative because it's going to be <laughs> that minus the standard deviation times 4 okay so then let's do it the other 11.66 times 4 and then plus the 127.08 and that's going to give us the 173 on the upper point for the weight in pounds all right so if we plot out the bell curve which we focus on in a, in a different section but uh, we'll plot that out here so we'll do it you've got the each data point and then the, the bell curve is going to be the norm dot dist function where we take the x which is this comma the standard deviation for the height is that and then the uh is it going to be cumulative or not it's not going to be cumulative for this calculation and that'll give us for each height that we picked from from 60 i started at 60 the low point up to 76 i went to up to 76 it gives us our uh, percentage the percent likelihood that the data uh, will be there and so there we have it and then we can calculate the z so the z scores then same kind of calculation for the z score i'm going to take uh, each point in this case the 60 60 minus the middle point which is going to be the 60.39 divided by the standard uh, D, uh sorry that's not the middle to hold let me do that again 60 minus the middle point which is 67.99 divided by the standard deviation 1.9 means that it's over uh four standard deviations away which makes sense because we four standard deviations away as we just calculated would be the 60 uh, point three nine, and we're at 60 so we're over four standard deviations away that's what you know, the z score uh, is telling us and we can do that same calculation for the z-score uh, all the way down now it's going to be in order and it flips to be positive at the mean so an exact zero would be at 67.99 so we don't have 0.99 here but it's close to zero right there right and then so that's going to be that one and then we could do the same thing for the weight where we take each point and we we calculate the norm dot dist this should be have an n in front of it norm dot dist and that's going to be the x 79 the mean which is going to be the mean of this data set 12708 and then uh it's going to be uh this I'm, and then the standard deviation is going to be the 11.66 and then it, it's not cumulative and then we can calculate the z scores in the same fashion do that all the way down and the z scores would be this one of course around four away